This is the longer Laser B1 30 watt. The Laser B1 boasts one of the strongest diode lasers at 30 watts. With a highly concentrated laser beam, it increases cutting capabilities by 20%. So let's see what it can do on a wide range of materials. Welcome back to Space Age Tech where we look at the tech that pushes the limits. Let's unbox the unit. When you first open that box, you'll notice that everything is logically laid out and well protected for shipment. The first thing you'll notice here is the quick start guide. This guide contains everything you need to know to get started including how to configure your software for optimal results. The aluminum frame comes in four parts, so some assembly will be required. Luckily, it is relatively easy to put together. The Laser B1 has a work area of 17.72 by 17.32 inches, which is ideal for A3 panels. This unit also comes with an integrated air assist that can be manually or automatically controlled from your software. An air assist is crucial to improve the precision and quality when cutting. The laser is a real star here. It has an actual output power of 33 to 36 watts and it achieves this by using six 6 watt diodes that are concentrated to achieve powerful cuts. The Laser B1 can cut up to 25 millimeters of wood, 50 millimeters black acrylic, or 0.1 millimeters stainless steel. The last thing you'll find here are your peripherals and connectors to put this all together. And this is our final setup. Now let's put it to the test and see what it can do. For our first test, we're using MDF. As always, we recommend you to run a test to figure out the best settings for your materials and designs. Here is where the action begins. The Laser B1 has a maximum engraving speed of up to 36 thousand millimeters per minute. Here are the results from our test. You can see here that our optimal range would be somewhere in the 20 to 30 percent power and 203 to 300 millimeters per second area. As we get closer to a higher power and lower speed, we start to see some problems where the lines are not as crisp and well defined. Let's try the settings on a Celtic knot. We enjoy using this design to engrave because of its complexity. If we don't use the correct settings, we may get blurry lines and it will lose its charm. Our Celtic knot turned out really well. Now let's try to do an MDF cut test. We tried five passes for this test. You can see we got quite a lot of burning on the lower speed settings. Luckily, the Laser B1 has eight safety features to prevent fires, including a flame sensor, move sensor, and an emergency stop feature. We'll move on to a simple circle cut test in MDF using the settings from our test. While that's running, you might have noticed that the longer Laser B1 does not have a display, so in order to work with the machine, you must have a desktop or laptop hooked up. Alternatively, you can use a USB drive to read the job, but it's definitely hard to troubleshoot without a display that allows you to see what the errors are, if any, 
We hope future versions have a display. And just like that, we have a perfectly round coaster in no time. We were satisfied with the results of this test. This is our plywood cut test. You can see we had mixed results at various speeds, but again, at higher power and lower speed, we got some burns. So we'll instead be going for 100% power at 10 millimeters per second. We decided to try our intricate Celtic knot design. This is our result. This is our result. You can see that we were 95% of the way there, but one of the pieces did not easily detach. Our next test is on cork. This has been a historically difficult material. Throughout this test, you will notice the laser has a panoramic filter. This is used to protect your eye. We like this feature, but I found it made it a little bit harder to align the material. You can see here we have a wide range of settings that we can work with for our specific design. We did have a little bit of burn through at the higher power, lower speed settings. We decided to do a Celtic knot engraving on cork. The design turned out fairly well. We were pleasantly surprised since we've had a lot of fails with other machines. Our next test is an acrylic engraving test. There's a lot of potential with this material depending on your design and needs. Once you start getting into the higher power, lower speed, you'll start to see cutting. So let's see what an actual cut test looks for this material. Again, we have a lot to work with here. Let's cut out our Celtic knot using acrylic. This is going to be as close to perfect as you could get with any laser. You can also see how well it engraves. And again, this does not disappoint. We did so well with acrylic, so let's see if HDP can give us a good result. From our HDP engrave test, you can see we got some very good potential. Let's do a cutout of a circle, doing multiple passes and see how this material does. This cut test went surprisingly well. You can see we have a very nice edge and no melting. We decided to try PE plastic. As you can see, due to heat, the material just melted, unfortunately. This would not be a great candidate for any of our projects. Here's a closer look at the result. You can appreciate all the burning and melting. Unfortunately, our polycarbonate cut test failed as well. The quality of this cut is quite low because of the jagged edges. Let's move on to some stone materials. Here we are doing an engraving test. The Laser V1 was able to mark the stone and we got some very nice color variations. We tried engraving our Celtic knot, but unfortunately the machine errored out about a third of the way and we could not continue. It's hard to tell from this result if we could actually get a high quality engraving. A few more tests on stone might be necessary. Next, we decided to do a cut test on cedar. 
This was the biggest fail on this series of tests since the cedar actually caught fire. We stopped the machine manually this time. Unfortunately, the sensor did not go off. We definitely recommend that your machine is being supervised and that you check the safety instructions to ensure all alarms are rung when a fire is detected. These are our test results. We definitely need to do a lot more testing if we want it to get this to work. These are all the tests we have run for the longer laser B1. Let's review them. This 30 watt laser performed absolutely amazing as expected on MDF for both engraving and cutting tests. It was near perfect. Our plywood test may need a little more refining to find the optimal settings. We got a little bit of an uneven cutting and burning on our Celtic knot. Next, the acrylic test. This was perfect. Just the lines are very crisp. There's no errors in the engraving. We enjoy working with this material quite a lot and the longer laser B1 did a wonderful job. We were pleasantly surprised with the results of our HDPE test, especially with the cutting since the laser B1 did a very clean, high quality job. For PE, unfortunately, the results were not great. It might take a lot of refining to get something usable out of this material. And here is our cork. We were very pleasantly surprised with the final results since we achieved something that we usually don't achieve with other laser engravers. All in all, the Longer Laser B1 is a powerful and fast engraving and cutting machine. It was quick to set up and get started and we achieved some amazing results. Two things that could be better are the panoramic filter and the laser having a display. This was the Longer Laser B1 30 Watt. What did you think? Comment below. As always, we'll be reviewing this and other amazing technology in our upcoming videos. If you like this one, please like and subscribe. It really helps our channel grow.